people at home or or you have a, a normal hospital position somewhere they're really stressing isolation since I work with, okay yeah so with the elderly that must be very very tough I completely understand Oof. you are in the front line currently trying to help the elderly through this this time oh my But you also must be very brave to do it right now, so uh, all the best to you, my friend. All the best indeed. So how are, how are the elderly dealing with the isolation? I mean, they might be used to it a little bit, because some of them might be less mobile than others. Of course, it's better to have the opportunity to, to go out once in a while, but now they just need to stay put. No flares. Okay, there is the egg. go drilled right through it and to it okay we did it This is hazard, this is hazard level 4. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm happy about the result. Very happy indeed. So, enlightened, yeah, most of the people I work with don't get out much anyway. The problem is their immune system isn't very good, so direct care workers really need to be healthy. Exactly, and there is a problem with the protective gear. At least here, and I guess in most countries. It's a mess. It's a mess. I mean, I can freely say that the, the quarantine was... Uh, <laughs> my daily cup of tea. For the past over a year. Because, you know, I've been mostly at home and streaming. So, not much of a big deal for me. And the, the social distancing is my general lifestyle. So... <laughs> Fine. 
but indeed well I believe the situation in Italy right now is mostly due to the elderly being impacted the amount of deaths that they are, they are not really able to, to cope with the situation within their healthcare system right now yeah that's very very nasty Italy has it worst even after China, I mean, with the amount of deaths currently. Oh, okay. I'm quite happy that in, in this country they started with the precautions fairly soon, even though it's not perfect, but I mean, we started pretty soon, so it's mostly quarantined, but of course it is, the numbers are increasing because of uh, how many tests are being able to be done each day it was just a few previously so we had just low numbers now it's increasing every day Get to the dreadnought. Hang in there. Supplies are on the way. Are people buying everything in bulk there as well? The US is getting chaotic already. Yes, they were. They definitely were. But we went shopping on Friday again and it felt much better so people were panicking they bought a lot of stuff and then the shops got restocked around around this time and it all felt like it's fine we just we bought everything <clears throat> it wasn't a big issue what is great is that there are actually no lines at the post office because we had to go in and retrieve something from the post office again and, you know, <laughs> due to all this, there's just no one waiting there. Before that, you could easily wait for 45 minutes to get to a window and get your packages or something, or, or, you know, anything that was stored in the post office. Now, oh my, <laughs> it's so quick. We have a, a bit of a supply at home still and we replenished the things that we needed on Friday and we even have another shopping schedule the delivery the delivery shopping we have it scheduled for the 27th so we are thinking ahead we are trying to think ahead thank you very much for the follow decaying flashback <laughs> so cheerful <laughs> Welcome, thanks for the follow. So enlightened, this is the first kind of crisis during my lifetime and it's just scary how quick people lose their com composure. Yes, I think that's the first one for most of us. I mean, why we didn't lose it is because we always have a little bit of a supply stored. We always have more than we immediately need if we can you know, have it. Not everybody has the, the cash to do it, but... Uh, It is chaotic, but maybe thanks to thanks to the the precautions that they enforced so soon in my country, people went chaotic. But it only lasted a little while, and now it's all it settled down. Penny, <laughs> good names lately. <laughs> Welcome, Benny. Good day to you. I hope you are doing great. So. How is the, the the how is the state of the U.S.? I mean, are the shops still so empty? I think they would have suppliers that they would remedy the situation, but you know, more people, more chaos. So 
that's understandable. Okay, we're already leaving. I'm just talking here. just showing me that we have received new face masks but we have another another pair i have a blue one <laughs> okay it's a green one green one green and a pink one so guess which one i get <laughs> okay what did i miss uh, enlighten i was surprised when huge major events start starting cancelling, but then it's expanded to even schools and non-essential businesses have been closed. Police are trying to keep people out of public convening spots like parks and whatnot. Exactly. Yeah. The same here. And uh, it's a good way. It's, it's the beginning. It's the only weapon against it right now. Because there is no actual treatment. There is no vaccine, of course. So everything will take time. So this is the first step distance yourself from the others because even if you will get it and your symptoms will be mild you can infect the elderly and they might die so that's not good and it's yeah everything aside from the essential shops is closed currently so you have the post office you have some supermarkets you have drug stores and pharmacies and the vets that is opened all the other non-essential stuff has to be closed. So the economy is suffering. That's why I was mentioning on Discord that my savings are going to hell because everything is being decreased on the side of banks based on the economy predictions. So that's that. Benny, we are waiting on the peak. Oh yeah, so the prediction in this country is that we might have a peak of infections in 110 days and that was like a week ago. It's just a you know, prediction, so you never know. So we are really looking into something being in effect for at least a year, I think. Right, and so it's still pretty bad in my area. Between the people buying in bulk to resell and the people buying in bulk out of fear, it's really taken a toll. Yep, yeah, those speculative... <laughs> Let's call them bitches. Yeah, they're trying to sell everything and then resell it for much uh, My English is bad this morning with an increase sell it uh, with a with a huge profit Let's say it like that But maybe if people just step against them and don't buy from them they will eventually just uh, get rid of this stuff and buy it for cheaper because it's just mental. It's 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 bad. But there are always people like this. Hyenas, right? Trying to exploit the situation and prey on the weak. Yeah. So uh, I hope everybody's fine, healthy, has enough food, and supposedly even toilet paper, right? <laughs> Okay, we finished uh, one of the weekly assignments and the core hunt is expecting us right now. We currently have two blank matrix cores, we will have three and we will have two other overclocks to crowd. So great stuff. Do -do 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 so if I can ask Enlighten, how many how many elderly do you have to visit each day or do you have a you know, a predefined one or two that you take care of. I mean, that's a completely full-time job and I completely admire it because I would never have the strength and nerves to do it. I would never have that. <laughs> so I really... I really envy your strength. <laughs> I definitely do. Okay, Mineral Mania. Ooh la la.
darkness ain't nothing. And also talking about a spreading infection. I believe we have four cases quite nearby in this part of the city. But we are not going out too much, so basically on a standard schedule we need to go out with Elvis. That's it. A miner is on the way to join you. Action time! And Benny, if I can ask, uh, you are now working from home or you still need to travel to work somewhere else? How is your job security going? And so you work with two specific people right now. So at least from that aspect, this is a little, uh, you know, streamlined for you that you are not really exposed to too many people. So it's confined also for you because you need to keep your health up. Nobody wishes you to get sick. And Benny, I work in the control room in a chemistry factory, but I start to work back on Friday. Okay. All right. Hmm. like that is most probably needed if the factory wasn't shut down or it was a new work back on Friday if that will not be prolonged for some reason I mean the factory is closed here all the manufacturing stuff as well we can only wonder when will it all reopen was an interesting lag. So I have some good mouth masks to spare if it's needed. Yep, okay, that's great. That's great. Always good to have. Uh, it's a complete mess in here. I mean, they bought them for the... for the health sector. Uh, and I guess, yeah, they, they kind of bought it very expensive, but... Even our government is changing and changed very recently, a few days ago. And now they're investigating the the purchases. Ah, <laughs> it's a complete mess. Don't shoot me! What the hell? Over here by the marker boy. Attention! Oh, yeah. 
You donated a couple of them to the local doctors. That's great. Actually, now only have the ones that we need. We don't have any special ones, so... That... We had the uh, reusable one. One for each. My beloved bought them a long time ago, so we had two. And now we have... Uh, handmade reusable ones that we have both that's it Focus a little bit. <laughs> a secondary objective has been achieved. Bonus will be transferred to your accounts on mission completion. up the bum Whoa, okay I was standing too close that one's on me that one is on me It is 118 meters. Let's go. Drop pod has arrived. The mule has been called back. Let's follow the mule. Let's Drop pod departing in T minus five minutes. I'm a scout, but I can't use the zip line. <laughs> attention to the game. Okay. Stuff. So that was the first uh, the first mission of the core hunt assignment.
Okay, we have some. Hey there, Albus. There's some strong winds in here. Just a second, guys. All right, I'm back. And what's with the game? Hmm. This happened to us once before when the guy that was the host just left the game immediately and we were unable to kind of load in. Let's give it a little time. So what the hell? All right. Got to close the game. Relaunching it now. This is the second time that this happened. Nope, I don't wish to load into that. Hope this day will be better than yesterday. Did the mission count or not? It did. Okay, at least that. Fueled up and raring to go. There we go. If we don't have a hazard level 4 or 5 for the weekly assignment mission, I will just take a 3 or something. Just get it over with. <laughs> okay, I can only be a scout again. Let's do this. I'm actually waiting for my financial guy to let me know how much we can get. <laughs> Out of my own invested money Your team is but nothing nothing yet okay savage mule <laughs> savage mule well salvage mules prepared. and bulu caps maybe those mules were literally savage and we have a bulk Definitely a spitter on me. Help at 